day fellow investors. Tomorrow I'll do a video, I already done it, how I'm 100% invested and I'm not afraid of a crash. I would actually welcome it. And just to go a step ahead and answer the gazillion of comments that will be there that will be related to even Warren Buffett sitting on 150 billion in cash doing nothing waiting for a crash as i get one question like that practically every day like this email from jeff i just wanted to touch on that so if we look at warren buffett's cash pile it has been slowly and steadily going up over the last 10 years and now it has stabilized around 145 150 billion dollars so yes warren buffett is sitting on 150 billion dollars but that doesn't mean it is sitting on that doing nothing first berkshire hathaway is a finance and insuring business first and foremost in any kind of environment he needs 70 billion of cash in case of insurance disasters also he needs to have the cash there so that the counterparties know that whatever happens berkshire will pay and therefore he needs to have 70 billion for insurance there no matter what so he's actually not sitting on 150 billion of cash he's sitting on 150 billion minus 70 billion or even more for insurance depending on the deal and the structures of the deals Thus, that leaves us with 70 billion that is, yes, in cash there. And he says that that is for Mammut deals. And he wanted to buy, he had two opportunities to buy companies that had some issues and that really needed his liquidity in March of 2020. And he said that he was looking to deploy that money. And unfortunately, or fortunately for all of us, the Fed intervened, the companies didn't need more the money and his deals have not came true. So he is sitting there for opportunities to buy big companies because over the history of Berkshire, he has been doing that. Buying stocks, yes, but also buying huge companies because only big companies move the needle and then if we go to the last financial statement of berkshire you can look at the balance sheet and you'll see also something more interesting so yes cash and cash equivalents 140 50 billion let's say 150 billion and if you look at the total balance sheet it's 912 billion dollars so deduct the 70 billion for insurance you have about 70 billion of cash then the cash that is in the businesses for doing business so he has approximately eight percent of his balance sheet in cash eight percent so that's not really like he's sitting on incredible amounts of cash that's just something that keeps him sleeping well and gives him the opportunity to buy something that maybe maybe not will move the needle if he buys something for 70 billion maybe it will increase earnings by 10 percent and that's about it so it's not really like he's sitting in cash and waiting for a crash that's something one should know plus on the 150 billion of cash you must take into account that every year berkshire makes about 30 35 billion dollars in free cash flows that has to be deployed and reinvested so he hasn't been really active buying stocks lately so even a net seller of stocks in general with berkshire he has made some convertible deals with some companies occidental petroleum was uh, one of the last deals so he's always doing something but the mammoth thing is missing and if you look at the long term when he bought burlington northern santa fe his cash pile went down to 25 billion which is just the minimum for let's say insurance purposes and that's 
later swelled to more 70 billion he said he needed for insurance so he's just waiting on the other 40 50 60 billion just for the last five years in warren buffett terms five years are really really nothing so i hope i answered the question here five six percent of one's portfolio or two years of investable free cash flow income is what Warren Buffett has on the side. And he will have that money on the side no matter the market, no matter what. That's simple Warren Buffett, nothing special there.